Pleistocene Park, or Pleistocenovi Park, is a 14,000 hectare nature reserve in northern Siberia near the Russian locality Chersky. Founded by Russian scientist Dr. Sergei Zimov, the park is essentially a huge experiment. Can the introduction of large herbivores revive an ancient ecosystem known as the Mammoth Steppe simply by grazing? Sergei and his son Nikita seem to think so. The park is home to a variety of animals, including reindeer, elk, moose, Yakutian horse, muskox, wisent, yak, Edobayevskaya sheep, Kalmykian cattle, plains bison, lynx, wolf, arctic fox, Eurasian brown bear, wolverine, red fox, sable, and stoat. Among these considered for reintroduction, woolly mammoth, cave lion, steppe bison, woolly rhinoceros, Irish elk, and cave bear. More to follow on that. Dr. Zimov and his colleagues presented a worrying argument to the scientific community. The upper northern hemisphere contains an incredible 1 trillion tons of carbon, and that, by the reduction of permafrost through climate change, there is great risk of this carbon leaking into the atmosphere. Sergei believes that the introduction of megafauna, or the larger giant animals in an area, in Siberia will prevent the release of carbon into the atmosphere for a few reasons. For one, grass makes a better insulator than moss, shrubs, and trees. During the summer, grass helps insulate the permafrost and essentially enables it to retain heat. Herbivores roam the steppe to graze, eating this grass and compacting the snow into the ground, making both the grass and snow a poorer insulator of heat. They even clear snow to graze on the grass, exposing it to cold air and further freezing the permafrost. Researchers discovered that, in Pleistocene Park, temperature loggers and boreholes revealed the permafrost to be 2 degrees Celsius colder in grazing areas supporting Zimov's hypothesis. Wow, honestly, I can't believe I hadn't heard of this sooner. This has to be one of the coolest science experiments of all time, and certainly one of the most ambitious. Zimov has been criticized for his hypothesis, with some scientists stating his efforts could make the problem worse. Though in reality, Sergei and his son Nikita and their team of researchers are some of the only people in the world attempting to address the problem of permafrost reduction, and they're doing it in perhaps the most interesting way possible. I absolutely love everything about this. Creating ecosystems, introducing extinct animals, and doing whatever they want in the face of criticism and extreme Siberian hardship, absolutely incredible. Quick mammoth facts. Woolly mammoths, or Mammothus primigenius, are an extinct species of mammoth belonging to the group Elephantomorph, which includes mastodons, gamathiers, stegodontids, African elephants, straight-tusked elephants, Asian elephants, and mammoths. Woolly mammoths, Asian elephants, and African elephants are all members of the family Elephantidae, but they split into Loxodonta, African elephants, and Elephantini, further broken down into Elephantina at some point in the elephant lineage. I know it's a bit confusing, but pretty much Asian elephants and woolly mammoths are very closely related. In fact, they share about 99% of their DNA. Woolly mammoths are smaller than African elephants, and quite a bit smaller than larger species like the Colombian mammoth. But so what? They're nice and cute and fluffy. Mammoths adapted thick fur and large amounts of subcutaneous fat to stay warm in the harsh cold of the mammoth steppe. It is widely debated about how they went extinct. Many scientists conclude that they went extinct due to overhunting by humans and Neanderthals. Others contend that they were unable to adapt to the warming climate, which was responsible for the extinction of other megafauna. There is evidence that humans hunted mammoths, as mammoth tusks and bones have been found in archaeological dig sites. Apparently they were used to construct nice huts. Bet the mammoths didn't like that. In conclusion, mammoths are awesome, and there is a chance that your lineage survived because your ancestors ate them. Appreciate the mammoth. Now, uh, what was that about extinct species? For several years, scientists across the world have been experimenting with methods to revive extinct species, but mainly the woolly mammoth due to the abundance and availability of frozen mammoth remains found in Siberian permafrost. There are three main methods employed in the revival of the mammoth. Cloning, artificial insemination, and gene editing. If successful, the revived woolly mammoths would be sent to Pleistocene Park to produce a wild population. In cloning, the nucleus from an Asian elephant egg is removed and replaced with the nucleus from a preserved woolly mammoth tissue. This is called somatic cell nuclear transfer. The scientist Akita Iritani at the Kyoto University in Japan announced that his team plans to use this method. This method is difficult since intact mammoth DNA has yet to be found. In artificial insemination, sperm cells from a frozen woolly mammoth carcass are combined with the egg of a surrogate Asian elephant mother, resulting in an elephant-mammoth hybrid. Several generations of crossbreeding could result in a nearly pure mammoth. However, sperm cells have only been found to be viable for 15 years after being deep frozen, making this method infeasible. The final method, and most likely to be successful, is gene editing, whereby genes in elephant cells are gradually replaced with mammoth genes. In 2015, Swedish scientists successfully completed the mammoth genome by sequencing the remains of 10 mammoth carcasses found on Wrangell Island, the last known location home to woolly mammoth, where the species died out around 4,000 years ago. Fun fact, they were around when the pyramids were being built. That's kind of crazy. <laughs>
Since then, scientists have been gradually inserting mammoth genes one by one into the elephant genome, focusing on traits that would result in an elephant resembling a woolly mammoth. Though the resulting creature would not have the same exact DNA as mammoths that died out around 4,000 years ago, and I mean, let's face it, they were pretty inbred. It would essentially resemble them in every way. Also, the Asian elephant genome is about 99% similar to that of woolly mammoths, meaning any resulting creature is close enough. Specific groups attempting to use gene editing include the Long Now Foundation, the Mammoth Genome Project at Pennsylvania State University, and Revive and Restore at Harvard University. Check out their links in the description to learn more. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to take a visit to the Mammoth Steppe and see mammoths roaming around like they did thousands of years ago. I'm amazed by what scientists are already capable of, and thrilled to see what they come up with going forward. We need to see more incredible people like Dr. Zimov taking action to help save the world, and especially in such insanely creative and ambitious ways. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to keep an open mind, and I'll see you next time.